I'm rolling my sleeves up. I'm on the sofa. Today we're talking about Sony bodies, but using Canon lenses. Can we do this? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible to use Canon glass on Sony bodies, but you need an adapter. Now the amazing thing with the Sony body is because of this, uh, what they call the flange distance, the distance from the sensor to the plate here, because that's so small, because uh, you don't have like mirrors and you know the old cool the old school kind of prisms up here and it's got a redirect light up and into the EVF it's all basically to cut a long story short this distance is shorter so you can put pretty much any old school glass on this with the right adapter and for Canon EF to Sony E-mount you could probably pick up something off eBay that's uh, just manual what 10 15 pound something like that I myself have got the Sigma MC11 uh, this thing here I decided to go with the Sigma MC11 because it meant I can't do two things at once can't multitask there we go that is on there uh, I went with that because it meant I could then electronically transfer the information from the lens, so the focal length, I could also control the aperture uh, through this, and then also get autofocus and things like this. Now, 99% of the time, I don't use autofocus because I primarily use the Canon glass for landscape photography. Now, why did I do that? because essentially it was the cheapest way for me to get good glass and I didn't require autofocus. Here I have the Sigma 24-105 which is Canon EF mount and I also have the Sigma 100-400 to Canon EF mount. This is the older version, the DG OS HSM Contemporary. Uh, you might find that searching for this that it brings up the new Sigma version which is E-mount which I'm sure is a lot better and works a lot better um, and also if you're searching for the 24 to 105 you'll you might see oh it is a Sony mount available but that's in the old Sony A-mount for the old DSLRs which again you would need an adapter, an adapter still to convert to the E-mount for the mirrorless little things to keep in mind so why would you want to buy Canon glass well for me I had the Sony a6000 that's what I started this journey with and um, would buy the little uh, crop censored APS-C lenses and they were grand but over time a few years using the a6000 I wanted to up my game I wanted to get a full frame camera and I wanted to get the Sony full frame cameras being I was using the A6000 I was familiar with that system to get the body which the best one of the best bodies for landscape photography at the time was the Sony A7R2 was a, a pretty penny and it was definitely worth upgrading because not only was it more megapixels the, the dynamic range was so much better uh, and then also importantly it was 14-bit RAWs rather than 12-bit which does make a difference uh, especially for landscape photography and the dynamic range and the editing and all this kind of thing anyway I digress so I was putting money into the body and I wanted good glass you need good glass for the landscape photography I decided let's get some Canon full-frame glass just to, in the meantime and so I ended up getting this 24 to 105. I paid about 500 pound for this. I did have the Sigma uh, 70 to 200 2.8. I got that second hand. That cost me about two or three hundred pound. I can't quite remember. 
but after a while I realised it didn't have the reach, so I sold that and I got the 100 to 400 and I got this second hand for just over 400 pound I believe if if my if I remember correctly and for landscape photography this is a great combo so for the price of this Canon mount 24 to 105 plus the 100 to 400 that would cost me basically the same as if I just went and bought the Sony 24 to 105 e mount which is about 900 to a thousand pound so you can you see where I'm going the optical performance I would say is just as good what about autofocus what about the autofocus what if it was more than landscapes you wanted to use the Canon glass for well I've been messing around doing some videos taking a few pictures and um, from the videos that I'm sure I'm thrown up on screen at the moment you know what I was impressed how little difference there seemed to be in uh, the face tracking um, when I was close enough the eye tracking although it didn't seem to work too well with the video it's more when I was taking pictures the eye tracking uh, would pick up yeah really impressed now I'm gonna play the audio now this is one of the downsides when using older glass because the motors in them just aren't as good as what you would get in I've got the uh, Sony 24 1.4 GM on that camera there and it's silent and it's I think it's got dual motors it's super quick now these not only are they moving heavy bits of glass it's older style motors and as I like to call it you get the Geiger counter effect if you've ever watched Chernobyl or anything to do with radioactivity you get the Geiger counter out and that's basically what you're doing with this when you're shooting video the Geiger counter comes out it's fairly noisy it's, you can hear that motor working away clicking away and um, if you're needing to use it for video and record the audio at the same time um, without having an external recorder on the person say or you know basically unless you're using it just for scratch audio it's going to be terrible for you because you're going to have that constant Geiger counter of a motor um, going off in the background which is going to be really annoying but like I say impressed with it for video and I'm sure it'll hold up if you were using it for photos as well just as well if not a bit better oh one thing to note with this uh, MC11 adapter now I thought I would before I do some uh, video comparisons and things I would update the firmware in the MC11 adapter that's kind of one of the nice things with with lenses and the bodies now and all these kinds of things you can update the firmware so over time they then the firmware matures and they get better and better now I couldn't update the firmware because the USB port on the MC11 adapter is I don't know what it is I didn't have the lead for it I don't have uh, apparently the lead comes in the box it's like a proprietary connection kind of looks like a USB mini or something like that but I, I literally don't have them kicking around anymore the uh, the box would be back in England I'm in Ireland now and um, yeah I'm not got access to it at any point soon so that's a bit of an annoying thing I mean I don't know what firmware it's on I remember updating it some years ago um, so it's not the base firmware but either way it's worked well it worked well so my roundabout point is if you're looking for a cheaper way to get into uh, using a full frame Sony body then buy the cheaper Canon glass it's just as good really 
optically. And also keep in mind the Canon mirrorless cameras are out now with their new mount. So people are going to be offloading their old EF mount lenses. So keep an eye on eBay. Look up uh, used on Wex or something. I'm sure that these things are going to be going cheaper and cheaper in time because the demand is going to be going down. People are moving on to the newer mirrorless style lenses and uh, yeah so a bit of a handy point there for you to get into the cheaper to upgrade for cheaper basically yeah plus for landscape like I mean landscapes you landscapes it's always manual focus for me um, yeah landscapes I always manually focus and for my weddings or other work then I have bought proper Sony lenses but they're all prime lenses <laughs> the, the only Sony zoom lens I have is a uh, 18 to 105 which is for a crop sensor which is kind of I'm on the point of not needing it anymore it's surplus to requirements it comes in handy now and again but I need a full frame 24 to 105 if I'm going to change this don't be scared of the old Canon glass thing to keep in mind though this is these are obviously Sigma lenses using the Sigma adapter so I'd imagine they're going to be fairly more tuned more well tuned than if it was a Canon lens basically I'm rambling on and basically what I'm saying is don't be scared they're pretty good you get 80% of the performance for what 50% of the price there I go summed it up <sighs> go buy go get on Amazon and eBay and um, done deal and uh, yellow pages no not yellow pages the diamond free ads remember that diamond free ads um, get on CFAX and get some second hand lenses. Okay, bye.